What's your name, by the way? Uh, my name is Laurent Dario. I'm coming from France. Uh, how long have you been in, in the U.S.? So I started the tour the 12th of September. Oh, wow. So I'm in the U.S. actually for one month and a half. Oh, so where have you gone so far? Uh, I've been from Florida, then uh, New England, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Orleans, California, Washington, Port uh, Oregon, and then San Jose, and then I go back to California, to go to LA, to go back to France. Oh, so you're, you're, leave, you're leaving after this event? After yeah, after yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hurry to, to go back to my home. Yeah. So what do you do What do you do you for bonsai? And you have a really unique style. So what, yeah. is your, what is your style? Yeah, it's, my style is the first time that it's not natural. My trees are growing on another planet, so I don't have to respect the rules. So uh, I, my background is that I started the bonsai when I was 15 in 1987 with my father. So I have a very classic background, Japanese one. And uh, I worked for many, many private collections and uh, nurseries for like 20 years. And then I was, I was I mean, brought, the, the, the people that hire me, they cut the branch. I wanted to be more creative. Just one or few branches in one tree, classic style. And then I created my style to get out of this Troubles. So what is this, the style that you made? And it's called Cosmic Bonsai, correct? The, the style is that you try to grow a tree growing on another planet. So you don't have to respect the rules on hers. So every time, you know, when you're doing bonsai, people say, speak about taper, you don't give a shit. You speak about the marks on the branches, you don't give a shit. You speak about trimming, you don't give a shit. Because you grow your tree all the time, you wire it, you hand wire, and it make a beautiful trees, but growing on another planet. So you can cross the branches, you can go behind the trunk, so more it look unnatural, more it's better. So what is the main purpose of that? Is it to be avant-garde? It, no, it's to be like free. It's like nobody can tell you no. You can say yes every day. So it's very funny for my students, you know, it's not something serious. Bonsai is just trees in a box. So actually, many people avoid bonsai because it's too serious, it's too boring. That's why bonsai in Japan is collapsing because they don't make it funny. So I wanted to make a, a bonsai, like a funny way. Uh, and then uh, what kind of species do you kind of work on? Like the My favorite is Chinese elm. Why? Mm. Why? So it's very funny also, because when I started in France, I choose the worst species can exist on European market. And they hate it in France because it's a mass production from China. Oh, okay. The S. Yeah, yeah the S curve, yeah. yes. So I say, okay, I'm gonna choose that. And then I'm gonna show I can make with the worst spaces, I'm gonna make hard work. Then I get awarded 10 years, 12 years later at the trophy. Yeah. No, not the trophy, it was the Bonsai Sign at that time in the north of France, big exhibition. And uh, then I show that you can do anything with nothing. But working with Helms, I discovered it's a perfect spaces, flexible, can stand the cold, the heat. Uh, small leaves, beautiful bark. So oh, you're was, talking. You're talking about the basic Chinese elm, yeah, the S basic curve, Chinese the S elm, curve. Basic yeah. Chinese elm. And finally, it became my favorite species. And from the start, it was just a joke. I thought I'm gonna make one tree with it, just show down that yeah, you can, can do make it, hard right? work with it. But finally, I felt in love with it. Awesome. Yeah. And then you're really accentuating the S curve, technically, right? Mm -hmm. You're accentuating. You're, you're really showing off the yeah, curvature yeah. of that, that tree. And because I try to grow a tree in the planet, so I do many, many, many curves. But you can do also squares, branches, or angles. Uh, it's up to you. Angles? Yeah, yeah. My style is about like all my students, I never say no. Only one rule is like I have to look unnatural. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That's the opposite of Japanese styles, have to look natural. For, because for me, natural and bones, I have nothing to do. As long as it's artificial, made by humans. You take a tree from the mountain, you put it in a pot, so everything is artificial. So I accept the fact that it's artificial, so I do what I want. So is there a front on these trees? Because if, if you look, it's so unnatural um, and Yeah, no but taper. at the end, when you grow a tree for 10, 11 years, it looked natural for the planet you are going through. So and does it have, so do so you, you have a front? So you still have the mochi you still have the beauty in the pot. It's a long time process, much more longer, finally, than the classic Japanese style, because the cosmic style is an addition. You ah, always okay. grow the branch, you never cut the tips, so it's never handling. The Japanese, you cut all the branches you don't need, you're supposed to not need, and then you, you, you make the shape of the perfect triangle, and then your tree is always the same. Cosmic bonsai, your tree is always evolving, except two years before the exhibition, then you just have to cut the tips to make the ramification, 
and you and you choose the perfect pot and then you go to exhibition. So is, do you show these trees during like the winter silhouette, like tiny elms? Are you showing like the branch structure or if you display it during when it's full leaf? No, no, no I, I always take out the leaves to okay. show, show the tree. Yeah. So that's that's because even... my, my favorite trees is when it's winter time when you see the structure of the trees because then you can cheat. No. Because when you got the leaves it's like big screen and you see the mark of the cuts and everything. So it looks like Cosmic bonsai is artificial, but you respect the same rules as the Japanese one. You don't have to see the cuts, you don't have to see the marks of the wire. So it's the same, but it's don't more, it. it's more like, uh, yeah, it, finally it looked natural, but for another planet. So, so you're saying, so during the, in this, if you had a spring exposition, you would actually defoliate to yeah, show all that? Yeah, of course, that, that, of course. Right. Cosmic was deciduous this one. Conifers, I started 15 years ago. Coniferous? Yeah, wow. I, do, I do cosmic conifers, but I need 15 years more. Why is that? Because the because you have the foliage, so it's first of all it's growing slower. And you, and you want and that. And it takes more longer to make complicated structure, and uh, especially I didn't find the solutions to to. So I'm I'm, I'm still seeking for seeing you can see the structure mm -hmm. and the leaves at the same time. It can be like Japanese that you cover everything just for a piece of of a trunk or yeah. just detail of the branches because I want my tree that you can see everything inside. Awesome. So I'm just still thinking about how I'm going to do my structures in the future. Awesome. But I'm going to find a solution. Oh, I'd love to hear that, you know. Safe travels back to France and thank you for the interview today. Thank you very much.